In an interview conducted a few days ago, former head of state Ibrahim Babangida disclosed that it would have been a violent coup if the June 12, 1993 election wasn't annulled. His explanation has got Nigerians talking. Plus TV Africa's Jacinta Obuku captures some of these reactions in this report. 28 years ago, an estimated 14 million Nigerians defied bad weather to elect a president who was never sworn in into office. Their hopes were crushed as the election was annulled by then military leader Ibrahim Babangida. The presidential election was generally seen to be free, fair and peaceful. However, there was in fact a huge array of electoral practices virtually in all the states of the federation. Babangida recently opened up to the reason behind his decision. If it materialized, there would have been a coup d'etat, which could have been violent. That's all I can confirm. It didn't happen. Thanks to the engineering, the Maradonic way we handled you guys in the in the society, but we could that could have given room for more instability in the country. This is how Nigerians on the streets of Lagos are reacting to this. He just did something he thought was favorable for himself and not for the country. Nigerians already decided, okay, we don't want military regime and we don't want dictatorship. We want democracy. So one man saying that he's, he has a reason it doesn't go well for Nigerians. I feel that uh, Babangida has no reason to have canceled the election. He should also understand that he too came to power by the same coup. I don't think it's a good reason for, the, for Babangida to cancel the election. I don't think that's a good reason for him to annul the election because uh, if you look at what people went through voting, casting their vote, having a free and fair election at that time, I think he's a cheat on the masses. As at that time, I was in secondary school, and we are expecting that we have somebody who have the mind of the masses. And cancelling it was like a shock to us. Here is a different opinion on Ibrahim Babangida's reasons. I believe his reasons are best known to him. I believe at his age, he cannot lie. He has gotten, he has close, he's close to his grave. I can die before him, Sha. But I know he's getting close to his grave. So at this level, he should not lie to the public and he can't lie. So based on these facts, I can, I would say is that he doesn't owe anybody apology. June 12th is not just a date. It is history for Nigeria, especially as President Muhammad Buhari has recognized it as a democracy day. Jacinta Obuku for Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.